Welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors Wavelengths. Answer two calls. Read boys on laptop. Okay. I stuck the tour list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. It's October, so it's Halloween. You know, this is so perfect. Because October's in about next month. It's September 18th, so... Yeah. September 18th. The week after that will be the last week, the 29th and the 30th of September. After that will be October, and yes... October, I am going to be playing some, like, Team Fortress 2, because the Halloween maps come out automatically by Valve every October, and they all go away on November, because November is where Thanksgiving comes. Also, there are games coming out next month, like... Games like Until Dawn Remake on the PS5 and PC, Life is Strange Double Exposure, and Black Ops 6, which is coming. Man, I got learn, Steph. games the master coming. Is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. She's nobody's cat, Bella. She bows to no man. We have that in common. Well, maybe she should come over and play then. She can't be any worse than you. What? Could it be? <laughs> After all his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? You know, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. Rung by rung, sucker. <laughs> Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. Fresh goodies. 
Time to find your home. Okay, this is progress. I dragged this whole ass chair out here, and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Criminal. Dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side, he did leave all this shit for me to clean up. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Just checking out some other options. DJ job in Chicago, Illinois. Whiskey. And that may have a run member. Join our, please join our community for the annual Arcadia Bay Candlelight Vigil to honor the lives lost in the tragic storm of 2013. We stand together in our ongoing effort to heal, rebuild, and remember. Let's see what I have left. Oh, good. All of it. All right, just a few chores left. Okay, okay. You're on with Steph. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Mm. I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it. Which was dumb. Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your co-worker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. Yeah. But now I'm freaking out. Right. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair. Next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah, you're right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. Definitely getting this one framed. 
Gotta grab this from the CD section. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee, assuming I can get one. Been a while since I've worked on my song ish thing. Found it. I can't believe this was gathering dust in the back, when it could have been gathering dust out here. This filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. <laughs> yeah. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. I can't even imagine working the shop. I wonder how long it took to get- Man, the 90s must have been a while. I can't imagine doing the same job for like four decades. Poor CDs. None of the charm of vinyl, nor the convenience of streaming. But hey, at least you're shiny. This is what it's come to. Riding my cat with drugs. Oh shit, I need to give this back. Mom? The whole town is rubble! It'll hit our house soon! I'm taking shelter, but I love you, okay? He's having flashbacks. Oh, Gingrich. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've... Um... This is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't wanna stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I wanna stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Boom, 16. Bullies are the worst.
filled this up. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Maybe I'll really bring that epic victory vibe in the breakdown. gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Gabe forgot to put professional in quotes. I am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Gabe, listen, I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Damn it, Mikey. Really glad we're getting out tonight. 
like I said, this time of year for me, it's, uh, well, you know. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign. But I like having it around. This thing grows more every session. My calm sci professor called that scope creep. I need to check my notes. If you got any follow-up, hey, take your time. Suggest we do them now. We playing or not? Shh, well is this coming? Which? Penis! Oh, Chloe. <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. Oh, you got this. <clears throat> Everything okay? Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And... Now? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Even the people I didn't like, I didn't have to be so, I don't know, judgmental, I guess. Just because they're gone now doesn't change who they were. You really think you did anything wrong? I didn't do anything right. You ever talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. Two wandering weirdos. Look, Steph. What you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Fuck! Water seeping in! Roll for perception. This storm is... is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't, though? Your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? You know... about Drew... at the end? Oh, like... Picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt, if he had any last thoughts. I guess I just accept him now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, 
running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away, that's how it works. But you didn't. Why? What do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. <laughs> I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. Sort of, yeah. And now so. when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. If it makes you feel any better, I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find. I never thought of it that way. Okay. That's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky.
and now it's finally Christmas. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. How's the Black Lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? <laughs> I don't know. I left the work so I could talk to you about something. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, 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 don't ruin it. Okay, give me a second. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? You reach out. The two of you have a really tough conversation. You talk for two hours. She says all the things you were afraid she would. She's worked hard to manage without you. She doesn't want to get too close in case things fall apart again. This is supposed to be good? When you hang up, you're exhausted, emotionally raw. But you're also grateful because now you know exactly what needs to be rebuilt. And you can roll up your sleeves and get started. You admit you screwed up and you don't try to rush anything. Gradually, she starts texting you back. Once a week, twice a week, first thing every morning. Until one day, she sends you a screenshot of her phone history. <laughs> it's calls to Gabe all the way down. And you realize 
She's saying she's so happy you're back in her life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully odd. Just hope that music wasn't copyrighted. Man, last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long, holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with... Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty sized candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you... Get your mirror blasted off by a runaway New Year's firework tonight. They are wide awake and ready to help. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best hand greasiest neighbors. Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater. 
even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched on to it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the Cosmos. A 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You return the Whopper of a gift and come clean with Grandma after all those years of misguided presence. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your Grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you are honest. It shows that you really do value her. That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mmm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learned something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? No I'm matter what me. happens, there's nothing you can fun. say or do to make your grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. You got it. What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. So he's like, killing his own people? What the hell? Hmm, suspicious. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor.
here in wavelengths, you don't get to go outside. Explore town like you did in the main game. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. All you do is walk around the record store just doing some tasks. Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Valkyrie only uses this when I'm not looking, which doesn't hurt my feelings. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a 10 year old to start your year off right. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. The executioner priest begins chanting. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Elamon readies the bow, but doesn't fire just yet. We submit this offering to you, Almighty Owl Lord Quixby. Fire. Critical hit. The bolt pierces the priest's neck and impales him against the altar. Yeah. Wait, Owl Lord? His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. Damn, my keys. Looking down from 100 stories above the city, you see thousands, if not millions, of thin blue strands stretching from just above your head to the city below. You know, I'm beginning to think that mayor wasn't being entirely truthful. This is the soul web, an entire city strung together in eternal captivity. And you stand right at the center of it. Cool. That last session was insane, but Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil owl genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Elamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? All right, it's on. Where's this next clue? I can level the playing field a bit. Gabe ran into a pole doing bike tricks to make me laugh. Mission accomplished. Well, KRCT's officially got a new logo by yours truly. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. out the year the same way I started it.
coming up with crazy nonsense. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turn. -al. That last session was insane, but Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil owl genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Alamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? Better look at my notebook and decide how I want to set up this final battle. They said, don't look far. So close to the front door, I guess? I did a bunch of work on my song. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Hey, KRCT listeners, got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up and comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. Choose Elmont's fate. I thought we chose her fate. Is there more to it than that? Yes. Still a battle worthy of Elmont. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. Felt pretty incredible hearing my song on the radio. Maybe I'm ready for something like this. When we started nine months ago, I never imagined the campaign would be this long. The Executioner Priest begins chanting. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Elamon readies the bow, but doesn't fire just yet. We submit this offering to you, Almighty Owl Lord Quixby. Fire! Critical hit. The bolt pierces the priest's neck and impales him against the altar. Yeah! Wait, Owl Lord? That last session was insane, but Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil owl genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Elamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? 
still a battle worthy of Elamon. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. That last session was insane. But Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he he won't survive his final battle against the evil owl genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Elamon go?